Hey, what's going on people, Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your AMD CPU for gaming and performance. And this video is going to be quick and easy for every one of you guys. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all this said, let's roll the intro. Alright, the really first step is creating a restore point and this is really simple, press the windows key and then search for create a restore point. Then once you are over here, simply look up for local disk C or any local disk which says system, simply click on create and name it Ryzen and click on create. Now this step will protect your system if anything goes wrong, you can always restore everything back to the normal point. Once it is done, you can simply click on close and then close the system properties. I wanna introduce you guys to Avisan Remote. It's a very clean screen mirroring application designed for your Windows, Android, iOS, and Mac. This software allows you to remote access your device through your phone or PC wirelessly and effortlessly. RA can remote your mobile, desktop, as well as your games up to 144 FPS, separately offering tons of features such as dynamic gamepads, accessible mouse, remote turn off switch, and file transfer and much more. Using it is very simple, just download the software on your PC as well as mobile and quickly log into your account. Now you can see that your PC is online in your mobile application. All it takes is a password or a quick QR scan and now you can enjoy your computer screen on your device. Here is me playing GTA 5 on my Android using the Aria remote. You can get a lag free experience gaming with faster internet connection. As you guys can see, I have no problems playing this game. The controls are really simple and the game looks pretty neat. As you guys can see, the screen is really smooth and the quality is really great. It is really amazing. What are you waiting for? Go check out Avison Remote for free from the link in the description below or the first comment down below. And make sure to let me know how is it. Step number two is tweaking your power plan. And to do that, you have to open up the control panel. And over here in the search bar, you have to look up for power. And then in the power options, you have your preferred plans. Now, if you are on a computer, I highly recommend you guys to use high performance or ultimate performance. If for some reason ultimate performance does not show up on your PC, simply open up your CMD and run it as administrator. Now once this pops right in front of you, just paste this string, I'm gonna be leaving this string in the comments below. Simply paste it and enter it and then you can see ultimate performance plan in your power options. Simply select ultimate performance or high performance if it shows up for you. If you are on a laptop and you want to game, I highly recommend you guys to use balanced plan because in laptop you have to save and take care of your battery. Once you're done with the power plan, simply close your power options and next most important step is installing the AMD chipset drivers for your motherboard. And for that you have to open up your browser and then go on to amd.com slash support page and over here you have to come to amd drivers and support i'm gonna be leaving a link to all of the websites used in the description below so you guys can go and check it out once you are on this support page you have to um, select your product okay first of all you have to go to the chipsets and then for this list you have to select your socket that is for me it's an am4 socket it can be different for you to take a look at your software simply press windows and r key together and then search for the xdiag now once you are over here you will see everything related to your operating system your system manufacturer your system model i can't see my system model for some reason but i already know mine and my processor so you can just open up any new tab and then type in your processor name for me it's ryzen 9 5900x and we have to just type in ahead that is socket and as you guys can see ryzen 9 is an am4 socket so i have chosen am4 over here it can be different for you so just have a look on the internet about your processor and then choose your socket and then for your motherboard for me it is asus b550f gaming so i know mine but if you look at the system model over here you can find your motherboard name so if you don't see it over here, simply exit it and download the open hardware monitor. I'm going to be leaving a link to this application in the description below. I believe that this application is a must have application as it shows you your uh, processor name, your motherboard name, your temperatures of your CPU. So if you want to do some testing out, you can always look 
on the open hardware monitor. Once you've selected your list, simply click on submit and then choose your Windows edition. For me, it's Windows 11 64-bit. It can be Windows 10 for you. It can be Windows 11 for you. So just choose it and then you will see a list of all of the drivers that are available. But what you're looking for over here is the AMD chipset drivers. All you need is downloading this uh, chipset drivers and install it, restart your PC once, and the chipset drivers will be up and running. Step number four, and this is a really important instruction from my side to all of you, if you are using the modern processors such as the Ryzen 9 5900X or the higher series of processors because they produce a lot of heat and you have to tackle the heat because even if your processor is very fast, but if your heat sink is not capable of cooling the processor, you might face performance issues. So number one, always have a good airflow in your cabinet. And number two, always prefer using an external air CPU cooler, AIO or liquid coolers. If you're looking for good external CPUs, AIOs and liquid coolers, I'm gonna be leaving to each one of the best ones out in the description below, so make sure to check it out. Step number five is installing AMD Ryzen Master. And to do that, once again, you'll find a link to the Ryzen Master website down in the description below. Simply tap on it, come to the website, and over here, you have to install the Ryzen Master application. Simply download it now and then open it up. And as it opens, it will give you a warning that Ryzen Master is used to overclock your processor and you have to use it on your own disclaimer. Basically, this warning makes you aware about what you're doing on your computer, what you're doing with your processor is something that you should know about. If you don't know what you're doing, I highly recommend you guys do not do it. But I'm gonna be showing you guys a safer way to use Ryzen Master. Simply click on OK. And then this simple view opens right in front of you. You have to take care of these three things. The first one is temperature, the second one is CPU clock speed, and the third one is CPU core voltage. Now, once again, I would like to let you guys know that if you take a look on this CPU clock speed, you can see the maximum speed that your PC can run on. And once again, if you want, you can set everything manually, but I do not recommend manual setting because somewhere or the other, it can damage your PC. So once again, click on auto OC. And then if you are playing games like Valorant or Fortnite, then you need to use all cores. So basically it will optimize your processor for using all cores and this will allow you to get better performance. But once again, start optimizing this, apply and test a few things. And if your games crash, just set it back to default if it runs perfectly fine you can use all cores once again guys i highly recommend you guys to know what you are doing if you do not know about anything or if you feel underconfident i highly recommend you guys to skip this step next and most important is the bio settings if you boot right in your bios you will get an option to enable your xmp and basically just follow all of the steps i'm going to be showing ahead to get started with enabling your xmp your xmp will allow your memory to run at its maximum potential so if you are using a dual channel memory socket then i highly recommend you guys to enable xmp on your motherboard and that's going to be allowing your pc to run much faster and perform much better so guys i hope this video has helped you out if it did make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below it seriously helps me out and uh, we are really close to 70,000 subscribers and i believe in you guys just consider hitting that red subscribe button down below and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox, and peace out.